let's talk about jujitsu gyms. Betty Potter bought some So perhaps you've watched your episode of Joe Rohan Experience, and now you developed an interest in stoned monkeys and training jiu-jitsu. Well, here's how it works. Jiu-jitsu gyms have been around for eons and are typically ran by 40-year-old tweeners that got into jiu-jitsu in the early 2000s after watching Chuck the Iceman Liddell beat the shit out of Wonder Boy Saliva. Folks at jiu-jitsu gyms typically call this person professor even though no formal PhD education has been acquired. Moving on to the people. When you enter a jiu-jitsu gym, you will find an extremely diverse set of fellow students, ranging from doctors to bartenders, Muslims to Christians to atheists, black, white, Asian, etc. However, they do all have one thing in common, that being a love of getting sweaty in adult PJs and tights and rolling on and off the mat. Next up, let's review what the class structure is like. Each day a professor at a jiu-jitsu gym will run warm-ups, which typically include shrimps and break falls. Following warm-ups, all the purple belts should be entering the gym. Note, this is the one group that is allowed to skip warm-ups. After warm-ups, the professor will then show a few techniques. Most gyms have a set of curriculum that they teach students. These include techniques such as emboss, chokes, and leg locks. In the technique portion of the class, the students will drill said technique, and once it becomes apparent that no one is interested in drilling anymore by bullshitting with others in the class, the professor will put on five to eight minutes on the clock and then run rounds. Moving on to the rolling. If you're new to jujitsu and or have no grappling experience, then you'll probably get absolutely shit on for the next four to eight months. And well, there's not much you can do about that other than keep showing up and pray that another litter of fresh white belts pops in. Following that is the most important part of any jiu-jitsu gym, the dues. You gotta pay the troll toll if you wanna get in this boy's hole. Now what do I mean by that? Well, it's quite theatrical. Every gym needs to stay open and keep the lights on. This requires a thing called currency. Now I know this is a far-fetched idea, but currency is what some people use to exchange goods and services. This typically ranges from $100 to $800 a month, depending on how big of a money-hungry crusty crab dickhole the professor is. Make sure to pay your dues, like and subscribe, or else this will eat you while you sleep.